Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here with a quick Etsy share this morning. Um, I wanted to get this done because uh, Shannon at Mixed Media Minnesota has her June kit out, and it actually, I think it went on her shop yesterday, yes, yesterday, so um, I wanted to get it out and show you so that it wasn't all gone by the time I get back from my retreat. So, yep, going to do this little video. Afterwards, I'm going to pack my car and I'm out for a week. Woohoo! So, all that to say, let's look at this June kit. Um, it is over on Mixed Media Minnesota already. And so um, you just run over there before it's out because look at this paper. Oh my gosh, I have not seen this paper pack. This is Stamperia. Excuse the, the noise there. And I do apologize for my setup. I've already packed my, um, my usual filming setup so that I can do a little video with my friend Corey Dahman at this retreat. But um, so I'm I'm at my mixed media station here, <laughs> showing you, showing you these goodies. So um, I apologize if the lighting is not the best. Okay, let's. I can't really see my my camera will wet real well either. But romantic collection stamp here, a garden of promises. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Can you see a bit of the back? You can. Okay. Look at that. How cute is that? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. This is a good one. This is a good one, Stamperia. Good job. <laughs> Ooh, look at that mask. Oh, it's just lovely. It's just lovely. Wow. And some postcard size along with small journaling cards. That's a great idea. Ooh, and look at all these. How fun is that? I'm glad I'm showing this. I'm going to take it to my retreat and play with it. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? So that is Garden of Promises. So, and... uh Shannon had said um, she's coming up on a year uh, since her mom's passing, and she loved flowers, and so this is a special kit for Shannon. So that's fun to know, too, Shannon. Thank you for sharing that. This is the rice paper. Oh, that is gorgeous. Um, and then there's the die cuts to go with. And these are, you know, these are, I don't know how thick, but they're thicker cards, uh, you know, chipboard. But all sorts of things, butterflies and flowers and the little words. Oh, that's so fun. Um, and then this from Stamp Here, uh, Decorative Chips, it's called. And again, it's... Um, chipboard then we've got some little um, watercolor paper tags and watercolor paints these are pearlescent n-i-j-i is the brand pearlescent and then um, some flowers to play with how fun is that maybe do some water coloring on those flowers. And then last but definitely not least, some liquid pearls, lemon chiffon liquid pearls. What a great kit. You guys run over to Mixed Media Minnesota. I'll have the link in the description box as always. I wanted to show you the really pretty card that Shannon sent. So there you go. Mixed Media Minnesota June kit is on Etsy, ready for you to go grab. Oh my gosh. Super excited to play with that. Thank you so much, Shannon. 
Okay, I have a little announcement here that I don't want to forget to do. This is from Anna. Anna is Paper Baker Creations, but she's got some announcements here. Uh, she created a second Etsy shop called Bloomin' Heather Design and moved all her digitals over there. And um, then if she re releases a new digital, it'll be there as well. So I will link that as well as linking Paper Baker Creations. Um, let's see, all of her digitals will be on sale over at the new shop from May 20th till June 5th, no code necessary. And she's created an Instagram page for both Etsy shops. So at Paper Baker Creations and at Blooming Heather Design. So um, just FYI, that's what Anna's up to. So I'll have that information all below. Okay, then the next and last share is from my pal Kelly Snow. And her shop is Bygone's Variety Shop. And uh, she does have a YouTube, which is Kelly Snow. And then she has a, a Facebook group, Junk Journal Junkies, etc. So she sent a couple of packages. So let's just see what she what she sent along. Oh my goodness. Oh funness. Funness. Oh, she's got she's got pictures of them. That's super fun. So these are like little um I would say they're little kits to, I mean, you could either glue, but I would probably slow stitch these, which is super fun. Oh, that's really fun, Kelly. Yeah, so this one's got a lot of um, chenille in it. This one is more fabric and, um, can, can you see that okay? If I hand it over here, I think I can get it up a little higher. So that's this one. I'm taking slow stitching, so this is going in the bag before I go. And then this is this one. Isn't that so super cute? Oh, those are adorable. Thank you so much, Kelly. So little slow stitch kits on her shop. Let's see what this is. Oh, she's got lots of um, garment pins. We've got a little, like a, a beaded bookmark type thing. Let me get it out of its bag. Oh, there's a couple of them in there. Little, like, beaded bookmarks. Those are so cute. It's on velvet ribbon. And then she's got beads on each end. Awesome. And then this is some... Um, frayed fabric strip in pink. So super fun things there. Okay, and then this one is what? Ooh, it's another little um another little kit and this one looks more boho like let me just let me just show you for a quick second. Oh my goodness, what all is in here? I I am doing a boho journal at my retreat. I mean, I'm so glad I decided to show all this beforehand. But look how cute. And then um, all the wonderful glittery sorts of things. There we go. So that's that's more for your boho journals. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get that back in there easily, so I'll put it into this sack. How about? Okay, and then let's see. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, and this one is, oh, it's almost, I mean, I don't know if it's avocado dyed, but that's what color it is. So laces, aren't those sweet, and then frayed ribbon or a uh, frayed fabric. Fun. Thank you, Kelly. These will be awesome. Okay, and then this says, this is the last of it. <laughs> okay, so a few more things here. So 
also, oh, she's got glassing bags of all sizes. All sizes, I would say. From these are two by four all the way up. There's a couple sizes in between to uh, about four and three quarters by seven and a quarter. Oh, those are awesome. Thank you, Kelly. Yes. Always need those. Always need those. Okay. And then we got this, which is super fun. There's all sorts of fun things to play with in here. We've got we've got library cards. We've got bingo cards. We've got a whole pad of guest checks and time cards. So what a wonderful package, you know, if you're just starting out or just need to beef up your supply of bases is what I would call them because you can just decorate those up in with collage and whatever. Okay, and then this one, DIY Vintage Mail Stack, this one's called. That sounds like fun. Let's see here. Excuse the crinkle. But this is so fun. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Let's see. We've got coffee dyed envelopes. We've got an old picture. That's a wonderful old picture. A vintage postcard. One of these blank vintage postcards. Actually, two of them. What do we have here? Oh, this is like a an old letter from 1964. Here's some tight. Super fun. This one's from 1949. And then we've got some bigger envelopes, letter size envelopes, some smaller ones, bunches of envelopes, and then stamps and string. So that is her vintage mail stack. That's that's really fun too. Lots of great things to play with in that in that little bundle. Okay, and then what do we have here? This is the last piece from Kelly. A vintage ephemera pack. Okay, let's see if I can I should be over at my other desk where my staple remover is, but I'm not, so we're going to make do. Ha, got it. See, we can use that. <laughs> use that for collage. Okay, let's see what goodies are in here. So we've got fresh roasted peanuts. Those are super fun. How fun would that be for a circus journal? little popcorn and popcorn. A vintage card. Oh, that's really fun. And look at this card. Ain't love grand. <laughs> A vintage postcard. Oh my gosh, it's an owl card. That's going in my owl journal. Thank you, Kelly. Put that over there. A little um, top value stamps. Uh, this is the Yorktown, York, Pennsylvania. Uh, matchbook. We've got three vintage pictures. Super fun. Oh, there's another one. And um, these are like uh, what do you, faux vintage. You know, I mean, they're newer, but they have vintage photos on them. This is the real deal. Ooh, that beautiful. Look at the color of that. Mm, doesn't have a it looks like it's in Italian, maybe. Beautiful. Oh, that is lovely. I can't tell you what year. It doesn't 
seem to say. And then some book pages, always fun. Little vintage cookbook there, Charles Dickens. And some dictionary, just a bunch of old pages, lovely yellowing on them too. That's super fun. Some bingo sheets. And then a couple of more. Ooh, this is a like a handmade paper kind of thing. So all sorts of book pages. So once again, let me just tell you. Bygone Variety Shop is the name of Kelly's shop. So Mixed Media Minnesota, the Ju June Kit. We've got Paper Baker Creations and the new Bloom and Heather design. And then we've got Bygone's Variety Shop. So that's what I have for you today. Um, you guys have a great week. And I will just see you when I get back and when I can get a video made. Um, I will have a video that I'll make there of an interview with Corey Dahman. But, uh, but other than that, we'll just see you when I get back. Take care, everyone. Have a grateful day. Bye.